Celebrities show their support for Alan and Robbie by coming to Wembley and trying to sit on as many seats as they can in two minutes. Next up, Sir Steve Redgrave. He has the credentials, but can he knock Graham Pohl off top spot? Three, two, one, go. So off he goes then, the Olympic champion, the legend. Moving quickly, great crab style as well as he moves across that first rope. It's not easy, but uh, uh, they're reasonably smooth. But because they're slightly shaped, is that uh, God, my big legs don't really fit in. Trying to move that big frame across these seats, trying to beat Grand Pole's total. Oh, I'm getting out of breath now. I'm sure that, uh, that it's a lot tougher challenge than people think, being sitting down all day. Oops. Sound run so far from Sir Steve Redgrave. This is where it starts to get more difficult, though. Now I'm starting to fatigue. Getting some advice from up in the stands. Alan and Robbie trying to urge their man to victory here. Oh dear, oh dear. Slowing up, fatiguing now. The backside challenge, there is also a competition that you can get involved in is you can go onto the BBC website and uh, uh, link through from, from that point and sign up for it. Some amazing prizes that you can get, World Cup tickets, One Direction tickets, which I've got my name down for, um, and uh, all sorts of, of, of wonderful prizes that you can be involved. All the money goes through to Sport Relief and the good causes, uh, and it's also making the difference for uh, uh, Robbie and Alan with uh, the, the tough time of sitting down for five days. <laughs> Absolutely shattered at the end of that one. Impressive effort from Sir Steve Redgrave. So a huge 119 seats for Sir Steve Redgrave, firmly knocking Graham out of pole position.